It's time for your primetime forecast from Dr. Don's weather page in the Shepherd's Weather Center. Now, here's Dr. Don. Happy Sunday afternoon to you, East Alabama and West Georgia. I trust that uh, all of you had a very Merry Christmas. And my hope is that you will have a happy new year. It's time now for your primetime forecast for Monday, December 28, 2020 from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page. Please head over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. Looking at the convective outlook for Monday, no thunderstorm activity expected across Alabama or Georgia or anywhere across the United States, except for maybe over in Southern California, where it never rains. Here's your three-day national map in motion. High pressure will continue to hold on to our weather across East Alabama and West Georgia for the first part of the week. Uh, well, we will have a cold front slip through Alabama on Monday, but for the most part, it's going to be dry. And then look at that big mess out there over Oklahoma and Texas and Nebraska. That's headed our way for Thursday, maybe into Friday. Still a lot of question about exactly what that's going to do for us. We'll talk more about that in just a few moments. Here's your goes east southern Mississippi Valley satellite shot late on your Sunday afternoon showing beautiful, brilliant blue skies across Alabama and Georgia. Just a few scattered clouds up there across southwestern Tennessee and back over the Great Smokies where they experienced a little bit of a surprise on Christmas. They knew they were going to get snow, but I don't think anybody thought they were going to get quite as much as they did. Some areas up there in Sevierville, Gatlinburg saw up to six to eight inches of snow. It was beautiful up there. And the Great Smokies, we had up to two inches recorded down in North Georgia. And just as we had been telling you all week, we did see some snow flurries across East Alabama and West Georgia. And I don't like to toot my horn very much, but I'm awfully proud of the fact that we were telling you that was going to happen before the National Weather Service even came on board with that possibility, which they did right there at the end. And we saw exactly what was predicted. I told you it was only going to be brief snow flurries and not everybody was going to see it. Well, that is precisely what took place across East Alabama and West Georgia. And the bigger story was the cold. It was brutal. I was in East Alabama. I can say that firsthand. It was cold. So how much rain do we expect over the next five days across the area? Well, pretty respectable right here. We're looking at maybe up to two inches of rain across East Alabama and West Georgia, up there Northeast Georgia, maybe four inches of rain. And this is primarily gonna be the system that comes in here late in the week on New Year's Eve, gonna be just like the Christmas storm that we saw last week, but this looks like heavy rainfall may uh, be a possibility. And it's still kind of early to say whether or not we're going to see any severe storms. That possibility is on the table. And uh, the possibility of a quick change over to some frozen precipitation for North Georgia and up into Tennessee is on the table as well. Now, this may be a very dynamic system, just like the last one, but it may be more of a rainmaker. And there's still that possibility we could see some heavy to marginally severe storms. Again, we'll be fine tuning that for you over the next several days. So the high temperatures expected on Monday looking much better than what we've seen the last several days. 59 in Roanoke, Wadley, 58 in Widawi. We go to 57 in Woodland, Ranburn tops out at 56, Aniston at 59. Lineville and Ashland both go to 57. We'll do 60 down in the valley. Auburn tops out at 59 in Tallahassee. And time to put the short sleeve shirts on down there, 62 on Monday afternoon. Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar late on your Sunday afternoon showing no precipitation across Alabama or Georgia. Here is the future cast radar. It starts at midnight Sunday night and goes throughout the day on Monday. And the radar is trying to suggest that we may see a few sprinkles across the area on Monday afternoon. But I got to tell you, the air is so dry outside, even if we get any type of precipitation in the upper levels of the atmosphere, I don't think any of it will make it to the ground. Now, I'm not even sure that we have any clouds on Monday, but it's possible. 
and a sprinkle is possible as well, but no meaningful rainfall on your Monday. Current conditions across the area, 54, your current temperature. We made it to 57 on Sunday afternoon. That was at 110 p.m., not a.m. Winds currently out of the southeast at 3, gusting to 10. The dew point is 30.7. Barometer, or rather the uh, humidity level, is 41%. The forecast for tonight, mostly clear, down to 31. Winds will be out of the south at around 5 miles per hour. Sunrise on Monday, 6.45 a.m. Sunsets Monday afternoon at 4.43 p.m. Our visibility is out to 10 miles. Here's your six-day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for Monday. Mostly sunny, 59 in the afternoon. Down to 39 on Monday night. Sunshine continues on Tuesday. Maybe a few high-level clouds out there. Uh, but we stay dry. 58 on Tuesday, down to 42 Tuesday night. Night. Mostly cloudy on Wednesday, especially in the afternoon, 57 down to 50 on Wednesday night. And we'll introduce a 40% chance of rain around midnight Wednesday night and an 80% chance of showers, maybe some thunder on Thursday. The idea of a few strong to marginally severe thunderstorms still on the table. And we'll be fine-tuning that over the next day or two. Uh, right now, it would appear that the best chance for any severe weather would be in the southern half of Alabama and Georgia, probably south of I-85. But we'll have to watch and see how things come together over the next 24 to 48 hours. 65 on New Year's Eve, 41. Your overnight low on New Year's Eve night and the highest, highest elevations of North Georgia and up into Tennessee, we're talking above 2,500 feet. There could be a mixture of rain and sleet, maybe even a brief change over to snow, but that's not gonna cause any problems, especially across East Alabama and West Georgia. It's just gonna be too warm. On Friday, mostly sunny, maybe a few clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, 53. We'll bottom out around freezing on Friday night. And again, on Saturday, pretty much carbon copy of Friday, just maybe a few uh, less clouds on your Saturday. The extended forecast out there on January 3, mostly sunny and cool, 59. And we pretty much hang on to that pattern through Monday, maybe a few showers late in the afternoon on Tuesday the 5th, mostly cloudy on Wednesday the 6th, then maybe some showers in the afternoon on the 7th and a.m. showers out there on January 8th. Temperatures, though, pretty mild for this time of year. High temperatures basically in the mid to lower 60s, overnight lows in the mid to lower 30s. Check us out online at drdonwx.com. While you're there, be sure and download the Mixler app and listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world as long as you have internet access. Also click on that YouTube link at the top of this video. Carries you over to Dr. Don's weather page on YouTube where you can subscribe to our channel and also click on that little bell icon so that when we go live for severe weather, you're sure to get a notification. Our partners include Joey Knight at Anchor Roofing, 706-326-2438. Judy Aubrey at Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts in downtown Roanoke, 334-863-2812. Neil Johnson, Superior Heating and Air Conditioning, 334-646-0331. Mr. Brandon Brown at VR Construction, 334-744-1507. Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. Becky Rainwater at Remax Lakefront, 256-610-1390. By Auction 431 South, Joey Knight at 256-252-8932. Made in the South, a division of Southeast Soft Wash, 334-863-0084. Mark Mitchell at Bama Diesel Repair in Woodland, 256-201-3685. Jimmy Stevens of Jimmy Stevens Construction, 256-610-1364. And Jamie Dukas, your Alpha Insurance Agent, 256-452-5131. Well, folks, I'm going to be on a little personal time off for the rest of the New Year week. Hope that you will uh, still hang around Facebook, though, because if we have any weather to speak of, I will be posting on Facebook. And if things were to get bad enough, I can go live from remote locations. So we'll 
uh, keep that possibility out there. But I will be on vacation throughout most of the week. Look forward to being back in here with you sometime next weekend. Meanwhile, please support us by going to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX. We appreciate your support. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Unless we have severe weather, I'll see you back in here next weekend for another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather page. Happy New Year.